52 weeks to shake out the weak hands than the biggest hockey stick you've ever seen. Richard Hart. I had a really interesting chat with Nine Iron Capital in the PDAI Telegram this weekend about how all this is going to play out. We really went in depth about how the peg could actually happen. It's actually insanely realistic, and we are already seeing the foundation being built for what is needed. Long story short, the kicker is that someone needs to re-collateralize vaults up to 1.5x the market cap of PDAI, and then the functions within PMKR can start taking place again. Note this 1.5x figure was for Maker on ETH to start their system, and it could be different on Pulse now with all the new votes. We have already determined that PLS, HEX, and PLSX will likely be used to collateralize. The most likely solution involves getting rid of all the tokens with admin keys, like PWBTC. People may be able to vote on more options with PMKR holdings. Until the vaults are re-collateralized to the 1.5x amount, anyone who puts money into these vaults is basically donating. After this 1.5x threshold, people who put money into the vaults will be able to start minting PDAI on a loan basis. This is when it gets fun. People can also start burning PDAI to claim a portion of the vaults, and there are a few other things we have noticed. Richard Hart recently has been purchasing a massive amount of SDAI and moving it to the chain. Why? SDAI is a protocol from MakerDAO that allows DI holders to lock up their DAI to earn yield on it. When did Spark and SDI launch? May 9th, literally right before the fork, so this protocol should also exist on Pulse Chain. So this brings me to the final question. When does this happen? The trigger for the entire ecosystem is when our benevolent whale adds those funds to those vaults. Once this happens, it is 100% confirmation that PDAI is a thing, and prices will quickly shoot to $1. It still will be volatile, and might have to touch $1 many times before stabilizing, just like DAI did in its early days. But once the DAP is in motion with the correct assets, it will eventually work to stabilize itself. Really, if you think about it, this is something that will absolutely send the entire chain and take over the crypto space. What I am seeing now are potential ways to offload and or use PDAI without market selling, which will help with stabilization and peg. We have always said there will be more announced and more built over time. Foundation getting stronger. One, insane yield farms, two. SDAI staking, three, vault burning. With the yield farms, Think about this. There is $33 million in the EDI farm right now, earning 150%. Imagine a quick swap into PDAI. Instant 33 million LP added. Imagine what this would do to the price of PDAI. How would this help stabilize the pair? The use case for INC might actually be to provide super fat yield, which will help add LP, which will stabilize the peg. INC might not even be used by PMKR at all, but it will still have a vital role in the overall ecosystem. BC, the stable farms will be more attractive here than anywhere else, which will attract regular DAI holders. So this brings me to my last question. When does all this go down? If I was going to do this, I'd wait for blood. I'd deploy my stables into the PLS, PLSX, and X tokens to pump those prices at lows, and then add them to the vaults when everything is cheaper. Who has enough stables to back this? If our benevolent whale waits until PDAI is at too high of a market cap, this becomes unfeasible. The plan only works by fueling the vaults early and then letting the decentralized aspect of the DAP and token appreciation do the rest. I do expect things to get volatile in the coming weeks, but that's also the exact time I expect whoever is in charge of all of this to send everything. 52 weeks approaches, hold your britches. Link to chat with Nine Iron Capital can be found in the description below. I've been waiting for someone to say that! What do you think will happen with PDAI soon? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.